There has been a nuclear accident in the Soviet Union and the Soviets have admitted that it happened. The aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster continues to reveal unsettling discoveries. This Chernobyl catfish stunted flesh harboring 16 times the usual level of radiation. Beyond the eerie ruins and radioactive landscapes, a host of bizarre and chilling phenomena have emerged. From radiation-mutated wildlife to unsettling humanoid creatures, join us as we delve into the scariest things found in Chernobyl. Twenty-five Elephant's Foot. Deep within the Chernobyl nuclear power plant lies a chilling reminder of the catastrophic events that unfolded on that fateful day, the Elephant's Foot. This name, inspired by its wrinkled appearance resembling an elephant's foot, doesn't do justice to the sheer dread it instills. Discovered in December following the April disaster, this menacing mass of corium and other materials lurks in a maintenance corridor beneath reactor number four, marking a sad chapter in nuclear history. Though visibly just a fraction of its original size, the elephant's foot remains highly radioactive. Fortunately, the danger has waned over time due to the gradual decay of its components. Its origins trace back to the meltdown of reactor number four, where a molten concoction of core material, reactor fragments, and structural components fused into a nightmarish amalgamation. Solidifying into a glass-like substance, the elephant's foot is primarily composed of silicon dioxide, with traces of uranium, titanium, zirconium, magnesium, and graphite. It is definitely one of the scariest and most dangerous things in Chernobyl. 24. Sarcophagus The Chernobyl power plant is shielded by a massive structure made of steel and concrete. Its main job? To keep radiation from spreading. The big shield was the only thing keeping the melted fourth reactor away from the outside world for a long time. It was built with over 8,000 tons of metal and 14 million cubic feet of concrete. Building it was no easy task. Workers had to take turns in short shifts of just seven minutes each. Any longer, and they'd be at risk of serious harm. Sadly, many workers lost their lives or fell seriously ill due to radiation exposure. Cancer was a common outcome for those who survived. However, the old sarcophagus didn't stop radiation well, so animals around Chernobyl mutated in 1989 and 1990. It took engineers 20 years to make a new plan. They needed 18 ships and 2,500 trucks to bring all the parts from Italy to Chernobyl. Finally, in November 2016, they finished putting it together. Now, it stands tall over the broken reactor. Chernobyl's new safe confinement has cost some 1.5 billion euros and its job is to contain the radiation leaking from the concrete sarcophagus. The new safe confinement has a lifetime of a minimum of 100 years, while the original one was designed in a haste and supposed to last only 20 to 30 years. Tourists hoped to take pictures of strange dolls inside the old sarcophagus, but couldn't because the new one was much safer. Some people think the sarcophagus is the scariest thing in Chernobyl, considering how dangerous the reactor is. 23. Giant Catfish After the terrible nuclear accident, something scary happened. A group of giant catfish started thriving in the aftermath. These catfish, living in the cooling ponds initially built to cool down Chernobyl's reactors, have grown to astonishing sizes, some reaching over two meters long. These ponds, once meant for a different purpose, accidentally became safe havens for these fish, offering them plenty of food and protection from human interference. With minimal fishing activity and few predators, these catfish have been able to grow unchecked. In a video from 2016, a massive catfish was spotted swimming in the water, initially causing confusion and fear about scary mutant animal. Later, it was confirmed to be one of these giant catfish. It's amazing how they've adapted to survive in hazardous water, thriving where other creatures might struggle. And no, if you were wondering, you can't fish there, unless you want a really scary meal on your plate. 22. Mutated Barn Swallows After the Chernobyl disaster, something really interesting happened to the local bird population. The barn swallows got mutated. These birds look different now compared to before the radioactive accident. We're not sure if they'll ever go back to how they used to look or why they've been affected more than other land animals. 
But here's what's going on with them. Their brains are smaller, their feathers are weirdly out of proportion, their beaks are messed up, and some of them even have partial albinism. Some problems are worse than others, and it's changed how they live. But despite all that, they keep adapting over time. Sadly, this human-made disaster hurt them so badly, but the fact that they're still around shows how tough they are. Just imagine losing all your body's melanin because of nuclear fallout. Scary stuff. 21. Radiation-Eating Fungus Scientists made an exciting discovery five years after the Chernobyl reactor accident in 1991. They found a type of fungus called Cryptococcus neoformans amidst the devastation. Although this microbe has been known for a long time, recent research suggests that it might offer radiation protection. Cryptococcus neoformans has been described since the 1890s, so it's not new to science. While it can be harmful, especially to people with weak immune systems, it has potential benefits, especially for space travel. This fungus has a lot of melanin, which is crucial. Melanin can absorb radiation and turn it into chemical energy. It's similar to how plants use carbon dioxide and chlorophyll in photosynthesis. This process is called radiosynthesis. This discovery was one of the few positive outcomes from this disaster. NASA scientists are exploring using Cryptococcus melanin to make a low-cost sunscreen for use in space. 20. The Bloody Red Forest Animals weren't the only ones affected by the radiation from Chernobyl. Even plants got hit. The Bloody Red Forest is an empty spot near the Chernobyl nuclear power plant that covers about 4 square miles, or 10 square kilometers. It got its name because the pine trees turned red after getting zapped with too much radiation, creating a frightening sight. The Red Forest, located in the alienation zone, got blasted with extreme radiation when the reactor blew up. The once healthy pine trees died because of it, so the cleanup crew had to step in. They knocked down the poison trees and buried them, then planted new pine trees and put sand on top to cover the dirty soil. But the threat is not over, as there's still a risk that radiation might leak into the groundwater from the decaying trees. Despite all this, nature showed its stubborn side and continued even after humans left. The Red Forest became more diverse and turned into a haven for wildlife. By 1988, the number of wild boars had skyrocketed. Surprisingly, the area became home to many endangered animals like wolves, beavers, deer, and eagles slowly but surely reclaiming the wasteland. 19. Silhouettes of Missing Townspeople Imagine going into one of the empty buildings in Chernobyl and seeing dark shapes on the walls. Scary, right? Many people try to stay away from nuclear disasters. But some think, wow, let's go inside with some spray paint. Graffiti artists from Germany and Belarus might not have heard about the dangerous radiation, or maybe they thought they might get superpowers, like some characters in movies. Whatever their reason, they got into the exclusion zone and left behind amazing graffiti all over Pripyat and the area around it. Pripyat has some of the coolest graffiti. Artists painted scary shadows of people who disappeared. In one room, there's a little girl with bows in her hair reaching for the light switch. Outside, a boy is moving a toy truck around like he's looking at something. On some walls, people seem to be dancing, while on others, three kids are jumping or floating, holding on to each other. People who visited Pripyat say the shadows made them feel unsettled, like they were ghosts. And if the pictures are anything to go by, seeing those strange figures in real life must be pretty frightening. 18. Piles of Creepy Dolls Decades of horror films have taught us one thing. Old, broken dolls are scary. And guess what? The area around Chernobyl is no exception. In Pripyat, there's a bunch of these creepy dolls scattered around. It's like some weird, spooky doll-making experiment near that big protective dome. These dolls are everywhere, watching you with creepy little eyes. Some of them even wear gas masks, sit on piles of rubble, perch on windowsills, or lie on old bed frames. But here's the twist. Not everything you see in Pripyat is exactly as it seems. According to the International Business Times, most items have been moved around by tourists seeking the perfect photo op. And get this, some of those dolls might not even be real antiques. They look pretty new, which suggests that most visitors are just bringing them along for the perfect photo opportunity. If you know the backstory, it's less creepy. 
But imagine what an unsuspecting visitor might feel when they come across all these scary dolls. 17. Abandoned Carnival Carnivals are usually full of laughter and excitement, creating a happy atmosphere. However, Chernobyl stands out as a stark contrast to this norm. Abandoned city of Pripyat in Ukraine. Three kilometers away is the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which exploded. In this peculiar location, most workers lived with their families in the nearby town of Pripyat, merely a mile and a quarter away from the ill-fated power plant. Among the eerie remnants of Pripyat, the abandoned amusement park stands out as a haunting reminder, frozen in time since the day disaster struck. Only now, even more terrifying. It's almost as if the theme park was designed to be the epitome of ominous ruins. A decaying Ferris wheel, overgrown bumper cars, and the skeletal frame of a merry-go-round are poignant symbols of the sorrow that hangs over this abandoned town, once teeming with the laughter of hundreds of children. Remarkably, just five days after the Chernobyl nuclear plant disaster on April 26th, Pripyat's amusement park was set to open on May 1st. However, Soviet officials, in a gesture of kindness amidst the crisis, or to lull the inhabitants into a false sense of security and avoid mass panic, decided to open the park early on April 27th, providing the townspeople with a temporary distraction as the nuclear reactor melted down and their homes became increasingly saturated with lethal radiation. 16. Piglet with human face. On a farm not far from a small town near Chernobyl, something strange happened. A piglet was born with a face that looked like a man's. This happened because of some problems with its genes, probably caused by radiation from its parents. The mommy pig didn't want to feed him when she saw how strange he looked, and the little piggy didn't want to eat either. Sadly, he didn't make it and passed away not long after he was born. Later, people found out that the piglet had a rare congenital condition called cyclopia. It's when the front part of the brain doesn't split into two halves like it should, which makes the baby look different. Poisoning can also cause problems like this when babies are growing in their mommy's tummy. The owner of the farm said that this was the first time out of 19 babies that one looked so unusual, and let's say it plainly, scary. 15. Hospital of Doom After the scary night of April 26, 1986, the usually busy Pripyat City Hospital turned into a scary place. It turned into a scene straight out of a nightmare. Imagine this, 237 soldiers, firefighters and workers from the plant were rushed there for treatment after being seriously exposed to radiation. Sadly, many of them never recovered from their injuries. The hospital lost 28 brave firefighters and rescue workers in just three months, according to a report from the World Health Organization in 2006. Now get this, because their clothes were so contaminated with radiation, they had to dump them in the hospital's basement. And guess what? They're still there today. Can you believe it? But wait, it gets scarier. Even though the hospital's records and equipment were scattered all over, the basement was the most radioactive spot in the city. Can you imagine that? The radiation levels shot up so high that within days, they had to abandon the hospital altogether. And here's something that'll send shivers down your spine. Many folks think the hospital is haunted. Spooky, right? Some paranormal investigators even claim they've seen ghostly figures moving around on the video footage from the hospital. 14. Residents. It's pretty amazing, right? Even though it's super risky, some people still live near Chernobyl. About 130 to 150 people, mostly older ladies, call it home. They're often called Chernobyl's babushkas. You might wonder, how do they do it without stores? Well, they mostly stay put. They farm their family's land. But here's the catch. The soil and water are still pretty contaminated. So why stay? In a documentary, one of these wise women said, I'm scared of radiation, but I'm even more scared of going hungry. They left when the nuclear stuff happened, but they all came back eventually, even though there weren't any stores or pharmacies. They just want to be in their homeland, no matter what. And guess what? Their bodies seem to have gotten used to the high radiation levels somehow. Hard to say whether it's impressive or terrifying, but one thing is for sure, staying there must be very scary. They say that the most heavily contaminated areas may remain dangerous for human habitation for several hundred to thousands of years. 13. 
radioactive spider webs. Researchers who explored the highly affected area of Chernobyl found very few insects, a stark contrast to normal environments. Spiders were notably impacted among the insects, with the few surviving species exhibiting various deformities and changes. While these radioactively affected spiders appeared outwardly normal, their webs told a different story. The radioactive webs were noticeably irregular and distorted, unlike regular spiders' neat symmetrical webs. Their patterns seemed twisted and asymmetrical. It's scary to think how much radiation can hurt neurological functions. Although it's tempting to wonder if a bite from one of these spiders could grant superhero abilities like Spider-Man, we strongly advise against testing this theory. 12. A room filled with gas masks. Dutch photographer Erwin Zwan embarked on a two-year adventure to explore the eerie remains within the Chernobyl exclusion zone. One of his most creepy images captures the gas mask-filled room of middle school number three. The photos reveal a scene where nature reigns supreme, with gas masks scattered on school desks and dolls left behind in a daycare center. Of course, in Pripyat, you're bound to find a creepy doll somewhere, and in this room, a gas mask-wearing doll sits on a stool, almost hiding one of the room's crumbling walls. The truth, though, is less dramatic. If you were to imagine the events that led to the scattered gas masks, you might envision a terrifying scene of children desperately trying to protect themselves from radiation. But in reality, most of these gas masks weren't used by anyone from middle school number three during the disaster. They were likely placed there much later. 11. European Grey Wolves The European Grey Wolf has thrived in the aftermath of the nuclear disaster. With fewer humans in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, these wolves have found ample space to thrive. Surprisingly, the population in this area is seven times larger than in similar regions. While the exact reason for this boom remains a mystery, research confirms that radiation hasn't hindered their ability to reproduce, unlike its effects on humans. But don't be lulled into a false sense of security and wonder, as the story is scarier than it appears. These seemingly healthy wolves are radioactive. With their numbers increasing, they're venturing farther, posing a new challenge. While we're not advocating for petting these wolves, even contact with them exposes you to radiation. It's strongly advised against handling wolf carcasses barehanded. So while it's remarkable to witness wildlife flourishing in Chernobyl, it brings a unique dilemma. We're faced with a new problem we've never encountered before. 10. Ghosts. In the aftermath of the terrible accident at Chernobyl, many lives were lost, and some believe their souls still linger in Pripyat. One chilling account comes from Andrei Kasukov, a nuclear scientist. He recalls a spine-tingling encounter during his visit in 1997. As he explored the power plant and approached the fourth reactor, the epicenter of the disaster, he heard desperate cries for help amidst the radiation readings. Despite the strict security measures, including a password, fingerprint scan, and alarm system on the reactor room door, there was no logical explanation for the sounds. It was as if someone trapped inside was pleading for rescue. Could it have been the ghostly echoes of a victim's final moments? The thought sends shivers down the spine. Andre's eerie experience suggests that the tragedy of Chernobyl may have left more than physical scars. It may have imprinted spiritual echoes of anguish and despair. It's a haunting tale that leaves one pondering the mysteries of the unseen world. 9. The Stalkers of Chernobyl In the eerie world of Chernobyl, there exists a peculiar group called the Chernobyl Stalkers. These individuals have a curious habit of venturing into the forbidden 621 square miles, 1,000 kilometers, of the exclusion zone, almost like daring explorers. Some say they emerged from a mix of Soviet repression, American-style commercialism, and the economic struggles in Russia and Ukraine. Picture them as the adventurous types who can't resist peeking at an accident scene while passing by. They just have to know what's inside. They sneak into abandoned buildings, poking around like detectives. Sometimes they even stay overnight. Armed with Geiger detectors, they measure radiation levels as they roam, making things even more complicated. Strangely, they also have a taste for the fruits growing in the risky zone. It's their idea of a good time. But let me tell you, it's not something you should try. It's risky for so many reasons, but for these stalkers, it's their idea of fun. 
8. Abandoned cooling tower. At the Chernobyl nuclear power facility, there's this massive tower that was supposed to help keep things cool. It was meant to take away the hot water from the new reactors they'd just built. But, uh-oh, they never got around to finishing it. Now this tower is just sitting there, looking all big and tall. It's like 150 meters high, and it's wider than a football field at over 120 meters across. It turns out that after the big accident, the folks in charge decided they didn't want to finish building it. So, they left it, and everything else was just sitting there. Eventually, Mother Nature will take over, and the tower will start falling apart. It's pretty crazy to see all this stuff left behind. Just imagine what life would have been like if that accident never happened. 7. Bison You might not have thought about it, but here's something interesting about bison. You'd think such a big animal could handle anything, right? Well, they actually can, and there's proof. The video shows how well these bison are doing in the wild around Chernobyl. The area is huge and well protected, making it perfect for a big population of European bison in Ukraine. Right now, they're eating radioactive grass. They might look okay, but it's still a scary thought, as they can contaminate other wildlife and possibly humans that come into contact with them. So, if you ever find yourself in the area and see a bison, it's best not to get too close or try to pet it. Trust us, it's not worth the risk. 6. The Blackbird of Chernobyl or Mothman The Chernobyl exclusion zone has its mystical creature. Just before the tragic Chernobyl accident, some workers in the power plant's control room in northern Ukraine claimed they saw the Blackbird of Chernobyl. People who saw it had terrible dreams and got scary phone calls. Some think this creature was like the Mothman, who was said to show up before bad stuff happened. Workers who survived the explosion but later died told stories of seeing a scary bird-like creature flying through the smoke and fire with wings as wide as 20 feet or 6 meters. After Chernobyl, nobody saw the Mothman again, leaving folks to wonder what was haunting the area and its people before the disaster. 5. Birds with extra toes While the nuclear accident's aftermath often makes people wonder about changes in wildlife, reports of birds with extra toes in the area might be due to radiation-caused mutations. These birds have one more toe next to their usual three toes facing forward and one toe facing backwards, unlike most others that only have these two. Like all living things, birds go through many changes as they grow inside their eggs. Sometimes, differences can happen during these stages. In birds, having an extra toe might happen because of things in the environment or genes when they are developing. These sorts of external mutations might not seem too scary, but it's the internal mutations that have us worried, the ones we can't see easily. 4. Wolf-like dogs. Just two days after the nuclear disaster at Chernobyl, folks living within 18 miles or 30 kilometers were told to get out fast. Sadly, they couldn't take their pet friends along. So, lots of dogs and cats were left behind. These critters scattered into the nearby woods, which made it tricky for the Soviet soldiers who had to go in and cull them. Now, the offspring of those abandoned pets live in Chernobyl. Most of these new breeds of dogs look like wolves, which tells us that they've mixed with the wild wolves around there. These dogs have a pretty unique look, and because of where they live, they don't live very long. It turns out that the radiation has messed up their genes. According to The Guardian, they often carry increased levels of radiation in their fur, and few live beyond the age of six. Quite a sad thought. 3. Mutated Cows Cows are among the most lovable and endearing creatures, often fondly referred to as grass puppies for their charm. Before the Chernobyl disaster, the region was bustling with agricultural activity and cows were a common sight. Many farmers brought their precious livestock along when they evacuated, considering them both valuable and a source of income. Unfortunately, these animals had already been exposed to radiation to some extent. While the effects weren't immediate, the younger generations bore it. By 1989, farmers began noticing birth defects in their animals, ranging from minor to severe. Even as the visible mutations lessened over time, the internal effects persisted. 
Scarily enough, the cows grazing on contaminated feed now produce toxic milk, a stark reminder of the enduring consequences of radiation exposure. This is just one example of how the aftermath of such disasters lingers long after the initial impact has faded, highlighting the unforeseen repercussions that continue to unfold. 2. Radioactive bores. Bores are common sites in the exclusion zone, but they're causing trouble by venturing into nearby towns. They're a popular food source. But here's the catch. How do you know if they're radioactive? Unfortunately, you can't tell until it's too late, and that's what makes it all the more terrifying. These bores may mix with non-radioactive ones, and they also have a fondness for mushrooms. And within the exclusion zone, they're likely to munch on radioactive ones. This poses a big problem. A 2017 study revealed that about one in every three boars killed in nearby areas of Germany, not even close to Chernobyl, were radioactive and unsafe to eat. You'd think being far away would keep you safe, but the disaster's effects spread far and wide. It's a reminder of how far-reaching the consequences of Chernobyl are, even years later. So if you're ever in these parts, watch for those boars and maybe stick to a salad instead. 1. Chernobyl Frogs Beyond boars and cows, other creatures in Chernobyl have also changed due to the extreme conditions caused by the disaster. One such example is the eastern tree frog, which has developed adaptations to help it survive the radiation. Unlike their usual bright green counterparts, Chernobyl tree frogs often sport a different hue. They tend to be much darker, sometimes even completely black, compared to those outside the exclusion zone. Researchers who made this discovery believe that this dramatic change results from rapid evolution triggered by radiation. The darker coloration, attributed to higher levels of melanin, is believed to provide some protection against ionizing and UV radiation. In the aftermath of the disaster, individuals with darker skin would have had an advantage as they were less susceptible to radiation-induced cell damage. This adaptation showcases nature's remarkable ability to respond to extreme challenges, offering insights into how species can evolve to survive in hostile and scary environments. What more scary things can you tell us about Chernobyl? Let us know in the comments section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to never miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.